Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Joshua Cato. Joshua was, was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and this one's this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have an interesting new drone for you. This is the LHX28F. What is the LHX28F? Well, looking at it, you'll say to yourself, yeah, it's another camera bird, another Wi-Fi camera bird. But what's special about it is that it has GPS. It's a GPS drone. Um, also, what's special about it is it's a GPS drone with 2.4 gigahertz GPS. Now, you see, I've been seeing this advertised that it's 5.8 gigahertz. It is not. It's 2.4 gigahertz control uh, or Wi-Fi FPV uh, from this drone. So just about anybody could use this. Just about anybody has a phone that is capable of 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi FPV. Now the downside of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi FPV is reduced range and that's because this controller is also operating on 2.4 gigahertz and that's going to interfere with the Wi-Fi reception folks so don't expect long ranges out of this I'm going to say about 50 meters with the controller but there is an advantage in that you could fly potentially fly this drone with the phone only and using a Wi-Fi cheap Wi-Fi repeater a me say a me Too repeater probably get ranges as close to 200 meters if you're flying with your phone alone and that using that repeater um, other than that, you know, it's, again, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 720p FPV camera. By the way, this camera lens swivels up and down via the remote. You can control that lens using the remote. Uh, its battery is a proprietary battery. I believe it's 900 milliamp per hour. Let me check on my, my cheat sheet here. 7.4 volts. Uh, I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure it's 900 milliamp per hour. Now, it is charged using a 2S balance charger that you get uh, it's you know it's not a proprietary I've seen them before but the plugs in right there into that balance plug there uh, the 2s balance plug so let's plug that battery back in again let's go over the controller the controller is where this thing really shines it's nicely labeled controller uh, this is your rates button you can tell by the speedometer setting there this is return to home you're seeing uh, the drone with a uh, I don't know what that insignia is beside it, but it is the return to home button right there. This is your takeoff and landing button. You can see that there. And you can switch between GPS and altitude hold by this button here. You can raise the angle of the, the uh, camera up by pressing that button there and lower it by pressing that button here. Uh, you can uh, do a, a, a gyro calibration by putting the drone on a flat level surface. And if you're planning to fly in an altitude hold, you're probably going to want to do this and then press that gyro calibration to calibrate its gyros. Compass calibration for each and every flight you should do by pressing this button here and it does have headless mode which you activate by pressing this button here and the other buttons are inoperative. So that's about it folks. Um, this uses the app that this uses the LH GPS app available on Google Play and iTunes so I'm going to fire that up, fire up the drone and we'll go for a flight so hope you enjoy this flight. So to turn it on press and hold its on off button right there until the lights start blinking and we're going to turn on the transmitter and bind it to the drone well it actually, actually it automatically binds to the drone and then I'm going to open up the app also so hold on folks okay this is the LH GPS app and as you can see by this app this is a pretty well thought out app uh, I'm going to hit and start the re video recording right now um, one thing I forgot to mention there is no SD card on this drone the video is recorded only to your phone via Wi-Fi, unfortunately. But uh, first thing, let's take off. Or start the motors by down and out, and then press the takeoff button. And let's check that compass calibration. Right now, it seems a little unsteady. So what I'm going to do, folks, is land it. I forgot to show you how to do that compass calibration. I want it. That's very important. Okay, so to do the compass calibration, we're going to press this button here. And I should put it in compass cal mode. Let me check that the lights are blinking. No, they're not. Maybe I gotta hold that button down. <laughs> hold on, folks. There we go. We got blinking red and green lights all around. So the first thing we do is several turns clockwise. Now this doesn't warn you when the calibration is complete. You just got to do several turns clockwise like this then do nose down and do the same. It doesn't matter clockwise or counterclockwise. 
Either way is fine. Just do the turn. Complete the turns. Do several of them. And then once you place it on the ground, okay, the lights are already solid. That means the compass calibration is completed. So now I feel comfortable taking off and going into the air. So pressing, actually, let's press the takeoff button, see if it'll start without moving the joystick down. Nope. You got to start it up. Joystick's down and out to start the motors. Remember that, folks. And then press the takeoff. Let's go up a bit higher. Right about there. Starting the video camera. Is that recording? Oh, there we go. Now it's recording. Okay. Now I want to lower that camera. So let's lower the camera angle. And there I am. How do you like my shirt today, folks? This is the one my cousin sent me a few months back. Okay, going back up. Actually, this camera looks pretty good. Okay, let's see what type of range we can get. Let's go up up and out. Okay, I've already, or er, I'm getting jerky signal. I want to go above those trees. Okay, I've lost signal entirely. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming in and out, folks. Again, you know, the range on the signal is not going to be very far. And the control range of this controller is not going to be very far either. I'm going to stop it right there because, okay, we still got signal. Okay, with that in mind, we, we are at how far? I'm looking distance, 300, and 300 feet, about 100 meters, so let's do a return to home from over there. So pressing the return to home button, which is, I'm looking for it, folks, I forgot which one it was. Take off GPS, return to home, this one here. Okay, it should be coming home. Here it comes. That's its return to home. <laughs> Let's see how close it is. Boy, oh boy, this year there's been a lot of these GPS drones coming out, hasn't there? <laughs> but let's see if I can stop that return to home before it lands. Just before it hits the ground. Bye. Pushing forward, giving throttle, no, it's going to go all the way to the ground when you do return to home. So that's how accurate its return to home is. So let's put it back on the pad, turn off, return to home, start the motors again, down and up, and take into the air again. We're still recording, so giving it throttle. And from there, I am going to hit this button in the upper left corner here, the one that shows the drone, and we're going to select follow me, which is the one with the circulish, circuitous arrow. Let's see if it actually does it. Are you following? That doesn't look like following to me. <laughs> Let's try it again. Well, I'll tell you what, follow me does not seem to work. Maybe I gotta be 30 meters out. Some of these drones, you gotta be 30 meters away before you activate follow me. Going up a bit higher too. Okay, how about from there? Follow me. Are you going to follow? <laughs> Apparently, uh, I don't know. Is that following? No, it doesn't look like following me to me. <laughs> how about the others? Uh, how about waypoints? Now, the problem with waypoints is the Google Maps does not seem to be working with this app. So that's not going to work either. So going back to try follow me one more time. Follow me is not working, so overall, this is mainly just a camera bird, folks. Uh, the follow me feature does not seem to be working. So, with that in mind, let's just fly around the area. Let's go up higher and just show its camera. Right about there. And circling, showing the area. From the camera, and the camera is recording. Now let's try something. Let's lower that camera. That's about as low as it goes, folks. I was hoping it would go lower than that. So I'm going to push out, turn the drone around, and hopefully I'll come into the picture here shortly. There I am down there. <laughs> okay, I'm raising the camera back up again. All the way up and just fly around this field here. So, you know, this will go out to about 100 meters or so. 
Uh, the picture gets choppy at about 50, unfortunately. GPS on this is working very well. As you can see here, let's do one more return to home. We'll go out again one more time here. 35 meters, or 35% uh, power is left on my controller here. Okay, we're out about there, yeah, which is 272 feet out. Try to return to home one more time. Return to home. Will it come back? Coming back. Down to 32%. Going back to its pad, lowering itself. Let's lower the camera while it lowers itself. <laughs> Automatic return to home and landing. Well, not bad for a toy grade. Uh, let's turn off that return to home. We're going to fly it until the battery goes out and see what it does. It should do a return to home and landing on low battery, too. Still recording. Let's take to the air one more time. Turn the camera this way. We haven't tried something yet. Getting back into the picture. Lowering it. Let's stop the video and hit the camera. Showing you the photos it takes. Okay, so going back up again, wait, coming back down again, syncing up the camera. I, I've been forgetting to do this, folks. It's important <laughs> to sync up the cameras. Okay, now we'll go out and about. We're down to 26%. I'm not going to go real far. I'm going to stay within the bounds of this field here so I can still get FPV video, but we're going to fly slowly around the field until... It does a return to home on low battery, which it's supposed to do. <laughs> That's what I want to find it, it doing. How's the tennis courts? Let's take a look at the tennis courts. We'll plop it right there, go up a bit higher. And there's our tennis courts. Nice view from the tennis courts. This, the picture on my uh, phone looks really, really nice, folks. I'll give you that. Although it is jumping around quite a bit. You know, there's not going to be any image stabilization with this. So, <laughs> expect jerky views, jerky images. But, the actual image does look good on my phone. So, turning it around. I'm thinking, you know, maybe this, uh, these features, advanced features of follow me, circle me, probably only works with the app if you're flying it with the app only. I might do a future video of this just to try to see if that actually works that way. But eh, I don't have much um, power left in this uh, drone right now to actually demonstrate that. So we're going to continue flying with the controller. 20%. Maybe 20% is enough to try that. Let me see that, folks. Let's bring it over. Let's stop it. I'm going to try to fly it using the controller only. Hold on, folks. Let's take the phone off and turn off the controller. Okay, I'm going to try to fly it using the app only, folks. To do such, I'm going to turn on the joysticks and let's see if it'll take off. No unlock. We gotta unlock first and then take off. Let's see if these advanced features work. Let's go up a bit higher too. If we're using the app. Okay, try that follow me again. Follow me is activated. Will it follow me with the app? If I'm flying it with the app? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> no seems to be the answer. Let's try uh let me move out a bit farther and hit and follow me with the app. Oh, oh, it's doing something now. Now it's doing something. So yeah, apparently you need to use the app. It does have follow me, but you have to fly it with the app to get that feature to work. 
Um, other features like circle, does this have circle me? I don't think the circle me actually works on this. Follow me seems to be working. Although it's kind of a jerky follow me, as you can see here. Let's see if I can run toward it. And actually, I'm waiting to see if this is going to return to home on its own. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be pointing, pointing at me either while it's doing this. <laughs> We're just going to fly it until it lands itself. Or flies away, whichever comes first. Let me run toward it now. <laughs> okay, yeah, follow me does work, but you need to use the app. Um, one thing that doesn't work, though, is, again, still this waypoint. Um, if, if I hit draw, you know, the, the, the app just doesn't zoom in on where the location of the drone is. So there's still issues with that. Let me try follow me one more time. Let me move out a bit. There we go. And follow. Okay, something's happening. But is it following? Well, yeah. Now it's following. <laughs> but the video is not recording. Now the video is recording. Let's see if follow me around the field. Old man running. We're going to have it follow until that battery dies. How many percent? Nine percent? Okay, follow me. If I have a heart attack, folks, call 911. It's keeping up with me. Okay, heading toward it now. It's really jerky video. I know that's gonna be a real jerky video. Oh, there we go. That's its battery power. Where does it return? It returns to you on low battery. Apparently it doesn't return to its landing spot or its takeoff position. It returns to your location when you're using the phone on low battery. So I understand it now. Let's stop that video recording. So overall, it's not too bad. I haven't checked the price on this yet, but uh, kind of worked. <laughs> Now keep in mind, again, it's 2.4 gigahertz, so you're not going to get great range on this unless you're using a Wi-Fi repeater. Additionally, if you want to use these uh, advanced features of Follow Me, uh, you are going to need to fly it with your phone. Uh, the advantage, again, of flying with your phone is you can use a Wi-Fi repeater with this and get really uh, greater extended range. And I actually should try to do that in a future video. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Got to catch my breath, it's <laughs> Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple, just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.